I've been alone in the woods for quite some time now. It's quiet, real quiet. To my surprise, I've discovered how unlonely being alone can be. It's going to look so good right there. I can't believe it, but I'm ready before the trades people show up today. And now we wait. They're here. <laughs> All right, the day is finally here. We are getting our wood stoves. And yes, I said stoves. We are doing one in our garage and one obviously in the cabin. I feel like I can breathe again, knowing that winter is so close and we're going to have heat. They actually got us in early. We were supposed to be end of December and they squeezed us in. So how busy are you? Uh, we're quite busy right now. We're booking mid-January for installations and uh, we've been about that busy since the middle of the pandemic, so two years now. So. Wow, Yeah. there you it's go. Been, it's been pretty, pretty non-stop. <laughs> And that's exactly why we couldn't get in until November. So I promise, I pinky promise, we have been making heat our top priority. But good things take time. You can only go so fast when the whole province needs some heat. On stove day? Yeah. What? Espresso? I can't even get over this. They know us so well. I'm part of the team now. The stove is just about to go in. And the reason that we have concrete on the ground is because this is obviously the garage where there's woodworking tools. So for code in Canada, I guess, you need to have it 18 inches off the ground that is easily done with the patio block. <laughs> This is our makeshift woodshed right now. We are going to build a lean-to out of actual roofing and six by six and lumber. However, we need to keep the wood dry as fast as possible. So this is what we came up with. It's not the prettiest, but we found a brown tarp and I'd say that's a win. Anyways, let's go light a fire. happy as I am to have heat, I'm also kind of like sad because everything at the cabin we've experienced together and this is the first thing I'm experiencing alone. It's just a different feeling. Okay, so to official, the first fire is going. Now I've been instructed to put two of the split logs in and then in 20 minutes I move this dial down to low and we're gonna let it burn out. Wow. For the garage, we went with a Pacific Energy wood-fired stove. The reason we went with such a big stove is because it is the garage. We don't wanna have to walk out here 24 seven. It has an eight hour burn time. We don't want this garage to be at 20 degrees unless we're in here. We just need it to stay around five to 10 degrees. So with the wood-fired heat and the propane and soon to be heat pump, we'll be able to keep the garage at a perfect temperature. Yeah, Bella, you're employee of the week this week. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Loves it. Yeah. Good girl. See, your best friends now. We're now on to the cabin fireplace. I'm so excited. You have a red carpet, eh? Always. Always. Yeah. <laughs> For the king. Stars that shine in the sky. Take no break till the morning light. We all got things to do. Are you walking the red carpet, Queen Bella? <laughs> Let's walk. <laughs> Let's be real. The red carpet is obviously for Bella and Izzy. Jesse already looked at Izzy and was like, are you lazy or what? He spent how many hours with you, Izzy? And he already knows how much of a couch potato you are. The biggest couch potato ever, aren't you? chimney is looking mighty fine. In Canada, it has to at least be two feet taller than the peak of your roof. And that's what that is. Perfection. I swear, there is a machine for everything. They are currently bringing in the cabin stove. I am so excited, oh my gosh. It's a lot heavier than the last one, so it needs this funky little thing. It looks so good. Do you think I can get it hotter in here than Costa Rica? <laughs> uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> Bye, thank you. <laughs> thank you. All right, I can't believe we have two wood stoves. One in the garage and one in the cabin. I'm so happy right now. Hold on to me if you need somebody. If you need somebody, somebody who's not gonna leave you. Norway is known around the world for their focus towards sustainability and the environment. This is why Yodel strives to maximize fuel utilization and optimize the heat effect. This is good news for your wallet and the environment. <laughs> Okay, I feel super bad lighting up the first fire in our cabin without Crystal here. It just doesn't feel right experiencing it without her. It's hard to leave a fam. <laughs> Bye, Biggie. Love you. Bye, love you. love you. It never gets easier. Normally it's me leaving, but not this time. We're gonna miss her, right? Eh? Anyways. I miss her, and I miss experiencing these things with her. We make a great team. Hello everyone, hola, welcome to Costa Rica. If you've been wondering where I am, I am down here in Central America with someone very near and dear to my heart, Ashley. Last Christmas, I gifted her a little toy plane and said we'd go away on her first ever trip together. So here we are, embracing all of the rain that the rainforest has to offer and the little bit of sun that we've had, but it's been super memorable. I'm missing you all, I'm missing my pack, I'm missing you so much, Jasmine, and and I can't wait to see you all soon. Ciao. I miss you and I hope you're having fun in Costa Rica. Isn't it just the sweetest reason why she's there? That's Crystal, everyone. She's an angel and she's gonna hate that I said angel, but I'm saying it because she truly is an angel on this earth. Pull on to me if you need somebody. If you need somebody, somebody who's not gonna leave. Somebody, I would love to be the body you wanting. You are somebody.
Outdoor showers just got so much easier. I now have a warm cabin to come into and just sit beside the fire. It's not even blazing as I'm on burn number almost two, but it is such a difference coming to a cabin that is around 18 degrees instead of six to 12 degrees. The hardest part about outdoor showers wasn't actually showering out there. The water's really hot and it felt great, but it was the after the shower, sitting in a cold space with cold hair. And now you don't have to do that. It gets better and better every single day. Hi, honey. Guess what? I'm so warm. It's so nice. Look at it. Wow, that looks so good. Are you talking to me on your smart glasses? Yeah, I love them so much. I've literally, like, look at them. I've been wearing them everywhere. Look, everyone. These are my Lamuna smart glasses. I'm talking to Crystal right on this headphone. It's so nice as they allow you to be aware no matter what. Like literally the other day I was chopping wood, stacking wood, and I was able to listen to the audiobook that you just finished and also talk to Bella, of course, my little sidekick. And I could still hear the world around me. It really is an enhanced audio visual experience, but that's why I have the blue light on. They come with sunglasses or blue light, so it's interchangeable lenses, which is really neat. So whatever time of day it is, I've been wearing them. I don't even know why I'm holding my phone. I could literally put you right here and just talk to you because they're paired to my phone and you wouldn't believe it. It was super easy. I didn't even need your help. Power on. on. Device paired. That's it. My kind of connection. These glasses are good for anyone. If you're a golfer, going for long drives, a run, a business meeting, and anything in between. They allow you to multitask safely and make your task or your hobby more enjoyable. Imagine being on the golf course, listening to music or on a phone call, but still playing golf, fully immersed. So even if you had to yell four, you'd be safe because you'd hear what's around you. They are so light, making them comfortable for all day wear. The Lamuna glasses also have noise canceling capabilities and they're water resistant. On November, 25th to 28th, Lamuna is giving you 30% off if you go down to the description and you click the link. Mom, I'm on the other line. <laughs> Miss you. Wait until the money's up I'm telling you there's not enough It's easier to let you down It's the last start to the last time we'll come around. That is getting very cold on the hands It is a bluebird day. There's not even a cloud in the sky. Like, if this is November, if this is Nova Scotia's winter, sign me up. scared of me how hard I'm breathing. Oh, this was not in today's plan, but my soul needed it. I needed this. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, two minutes and eight seconds I made it for that time, which is actually not very good. I used to do this for 10 minutes when I played college ball. That felt so good though, definitely needed. Being alone, I find the mornings are the hardest to get up and get your day started. So that was definitely the motivation I needed for today. There is nothing like jumping in a cold body of water on a sunny, beautiful November day. 
I can't even. That was not in the plan. I don't even have a bathing suit or a towel. I'm using my skirt right now to warm up and the sun has a towel. Oh, it's so nice on my back right now, but definitely worth it. Honestly. are our water lines that come from our well. They're gonna freeze. Even though they're insulated and have heat trace, they recommend in Canada you do more. No, no! I have an idea. That was super graceful. <laughs> okay, Jasmine, go get the square. Why am I calling myself Jasmine? Okay, square, where are you? Square! First drawer, doing good, boom. Definitely need the safety sunglasses on a day like today. Get cutting. I'm already a mess and I've only made one little cut. One, two, four. Well, if you haven't already guessed, I'm building a box an insulated box to go around the water lines. And this is another prevention so your water lines don't freeze. We can get up to negative 20, negative 30, and that's chilly. And even with heat trace, they suggest you do this in Canada. And the reason we have to build a box is because our water lines are exposed. We are definitely not going to get to skirting our cabin this year. So this is going to work. There we go. Beautiful! Completed. Now that you see it, it probably makes more sense. And as you can see, the cabin is up. So that means wind will go through and has a chance of freezing. And that's the main entrance of where water comes in. So we don't want that to happen because that's a big bill and that's a lot of time without water. You know that thing where your body and your mind are playing tug of war together? You're like, body's like, no, I don't want to do that. And mind is like, you have to do that because you're going to regret it when the winter comes and you're going to be building a box in the winter. Well, that's what's going on right now. Ah, let's get motivated together. There we go. Level, literally straight level. Beautiful. Done that. So now, that water line won't freeze going into the shed. I'm making a lot. I felt like for dinner tonight, I'll have the same thing. I do these things where I just continue to eat the same thing over and over and over again. I've literally had this exact meal every single night. Boom! Crispy tofu coming right up for all of you. The secret ingredient. When well, we drink wine, you have a way to slow motion in my mind. Steak spice. All the while Ooh, can turn yeah. you back to you in mid flight it's hard to find your way without a lie. Topped with some kimchi. You need your probiotics. And topped with some roasted pumpkin seeds. Make sure you get everything on your fork. Thank you for coming to my cooking class. There you go, supervisor. Other boss. Did you have a good break? Did you have a good break? Oh, you're always on break. All right, 
one of these two bundles is our last outside project. We have to get it done before the winter. Even though it's an outside project, it has to stay completely dry. To be honest, I don't even remember what this tool is called because apparently there's a lot of names for this tool. It's a flapper. Here's your flapper stapler. Thank you. What do you call this again? A flapper. A flapper. Is that my right? No. What is it? It's called a slap hammer. No. Not only is it called a flapper in our books, but it's also called a slap hammer. And then it's called hammer tack. Hammer tack. Oh brother, I gotta get better at names. Best tool I've ever bought. Done, number one. Beauty, second one's always easier. Not only is it the last outdoor project of this year, but it is going to transform the cabin. Just imagine the cabin a different color. <laughs> These IBC totes behind me are our rainwater system. Earlier this year, we set up our gutters from our house to go into these. They're a thousand liters each and they have been so helpful. Winter is coming and if I leave water in these, they are going to freeze. I might be creating a swamp. Oh. You wanna have a bath? Oh no, scary things. Okay. How does Crystal do this? Oh, yikes, yikes, yikes. Maybe a lot? Oh no, oh no, I can't get it out. Oh, well, I got it. <sighs> Gray water. Okay, again, rainwater goes into this barrel where we wash our hands at the outhouse. Oh, it's so pretty. I don't wanna let the water out right here or it's going to go directly in the outhouse hole. And you do not want your <laughs> outhouse hole to fill up with water. Can we pull this out? Yay! And now it will go out into the forest. All right, open this. Slow and steady, but at least it's away from the hole. I'm actually super happy that this is getting emptied because to be honest, I would have definitely not put it right beside the building as when it overflowed, the water was going into the hole. So next year we'll probably extend the gutters out into the forest and then put the barrel out there and get a longer faucet tube hose thing. Anyways. That stone covered driveway on George Sickle Road is where I met my girl in the place that we call now I don't need nobody to keep me from alone So take me down to solid ground before I lose control And I'll move till my money runs dry And I'll work till I make things right Don't worry if my money runs dry, I did it for you I've been alone for quite some time now and I have to say I'm feeling very empowered and really good about how much I have completed. And I'm not doing a bunch of tasks to keep my mind busy or to stay occupied because I've had a lot of rest time as well. But I'm more proud that I still have fun doing all my tasks alone. I haven't done anything alone in a very long time and I have to say, it feels pretty good. Good morning. 
would I do if I didn't have your face to wake up to? That's what I'm talking about. 19 degrees right now, and it was 25 last night. Darling, we just make sense. Ever since the day we met, we've been a perfect fit. We're a perfect fit. Your lips on my lips. She's gonna love it. Welcome home! I haven't left the cabin in 10 days now. I can officially say I have cabin fever. I scrubbed the hot tub, stacked and covered the firewood, built a box around this eyesore, was gifted with over 20 degree weather. So yes, I did all this with no pants on, did the dishes on my French drain. Do you get it? Learned how to charge the vacuum, needed to get some adrenaline, and of course, dog walks on dog walks. Color coordinated our closet, swept around this one, and mopped. Caught all the moon rises, as it's the same moon Crystal is looking at. All right, <laughs> time to go get mom. Woo! Ten days too long. Like a fire on a cold night. Like Sinatra on a long drive. You be long with me and I be long with you. We're so happy to have you home. They're getting all the loving. More than you right now. Oh, I know. <laughs> oh, they're just I so missed happy. you. I miss you more. Oh, Mom's coming home. Mom's okay, coming home. No way. Coming. Mom's coming home. Oh. No way. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs>